It is mailbag time here on NFL Daily by Chat Sports. He's Chase Senior. I'm Harrison Graham. Get those questions in, and we will answer as many of them as we possibly can. Super Yoshi, should Seattle trade Jamal Adams? Nobody's going to take that contract. Them trading for Jamal Adams, one of the worst trades in recent NFL history, I would say, considering getting... what they gave up and then what they paid Jamal Adams. He's a box safety and pretty much a linebacker. When you get fleeced by the Jets. That ain't good, man. That's bad. Yeah. Evan Henders, here are my three mock, mock draft three round mock draft for the Steelers. Uh Jahan Dotson in round one, Abraham Lucas round two, Marcus Jones. I like all three of the players. So do I. But I think it's a little high for the first two in particular. Like is Dotson a top twenty guy? Eh, I think there's better receivers. Abraham Lucas. Washington okay, State, I, you, might be, able, guard you might be able to get him in round three. Yeah. Uh, not sure exactly where Marcus Jones will go, but I do like uh, Dotson and Lucas. I think they're good prospects. Yeah, I really like Dotson. Had an opportunity to watch him live back a couple years ago when I covered Penn State football. When he was behind K.J. Hamler, he flashed at that moment. I was like, he has NFL potential. Then the last two years of Penn State, he's been extraordinary and really has bolted himself up draft boards to yeah. maybe be a day one pick. If not, for sure, day yeah. two. Like him a lot. I think better receivers will be there at 20, though. Tristan Stroud, what do you think are the actual odds of getting DK Metcalf? When do you think it will happen and how much will it cost? I think this is one of my Bears guys, uh, Chase. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one of my Chiefs guys. I don't know. I, Bears don't have a first-round pick, so less likely. Now, could you get him for two seconds? Look, if Metcalf is wanting $23, $24 million per year and Seattle's like, I don't know if we're going to be contending – then maybe they would take a trade like that for DK Metcalf. So I think any team that wants to trade for him, Chase, has to be ready to pay up. Yeah, if you're the Philadelphia Eagles, do you trade away two first-round picks for DK Metcalf, then sign him to a contract extension, and then you have a one-two punch of Devontae Smith and DK Metcalf, Tempting. and you make up for passing on DK for J.J. Ortega, the <laughs> stiff white side? I would do it. I would think about trading two first-round picks, if not a first and a second. Dom Towney. What is going on? I don't care how crazy this offseason is. DK is staying. Here comes the question. Seattle trade a fourth for Baker. Draft Thibodeau. Ty, Tyler Smith out of Tulsa and Kyler Gordon. How realistic? None of that's really that out of the realm of possibility. No. Uh, Thibodeau could fall to you at nine. Tyler Smith is a guy who's getting uh, second-round buzz. Kyler Gordon uh, tested well at Washington at his pro day here on Thursday. Um, so yeah, I think all that's a possibility. I think the Browns would jump out of their shoes to get a fourth for Baker at this point, right? At this point, when his trade demand has been made public and they traded for Deshaun Watson and other teams know that you don't need Baker Mayfield on the roster, they're not going to overpay for Baker. It was going into the final year of his rookie contract. So a fourth for him, I might think about taking that honestly. Let's hear your way too early Super Bowl, what is it, 57 matchup coming yep. up this year? Uh, let's hear it from you guys down in the comments. I don't even know if I can make a prediction at this point. Let's go Golly. Bills. Bills Rams, maybe? Rams, Bills Bucks. I'd lean Rams, man. Tampa Bay gets back. It's really hard to repeat, man. That's yeah, the only reason why I might go away from what Los is the Angeles. Todd Bowl? How different does it look with Todd Bowles? I don't know. I actually thought he was a pretty good coach with the Jets. Yeah, no, I don't mind. Kind of just got shafted because of a bad situation. Producer Sam says Broncos, Broncos Bucks. Bucks. Possibly. Right. That AFC West. Not I wonder if those cook. teams are just going to run each other into the ground. For real. It's going to be tough. Clay Elliott, who would be a good signing for Miami? What? Enough hasn't happened, Clay? Yeah, right. um, <laughs> I mean, J.C. Treader is the name that uh, our guy Will Scott keeps pushing for Miami. Uh, you add him to the middle of that offensive line. That could kind of complete a really good offseason. Yeah, because you already fortified it just a bit with Armstead. Mm -hmm. And at the wide receiver position, you Connor reload Williams with Cedric Wilson. And, of course, Tyreek Hill. You already have Jalen Waddell. Devontae Parker, if you hold on to him, that's your big-bodied wide receiver. Mike Gusecki, really good. I think Parker gets moved. I think the defense is going to be in a good spot. I think, Clay, unfortunately, well, fortunately for you, they've made a lot of moves. But, unfortunately, I don't think, to answer your question, they're not going to make any more moves. Junior Estrada, should the Patriots bring back Gilmore? No way. I don't think. I think Gilmore's done. There. Yeah. I, that that was not a pretty separation. Now, <laughs> neither was Malcolm Butler in the Patriots, and they brought him out of retirement, basically. Yeah. So, again, anything is possible. If uh, 
in terms of the pecking order of you never thought this would happen, the Malcolm Butler thing is probably not getting enough love. He gets benched for an entire Super Bowl chase by Belichick, and now he's back? Yeah. That's pretty amazing how it these is. things happen. Liam, cool plays. Appreciate the dollar. Ask a question next time as we always answer your super chats. Robbie Grayuski, Seahawks trading down to get more picks. I'd consider it, man. If I'm a team like them, a lot Houston, of needs still. Houston, like load up on picks because this isn't one of those drafts to like trade up for. I think it's like a, a depth class. Uh -huh. So just lo if you can get ten plus picks, I'd do it. Yeah, you're looking at a situation. If you want to go best player available. And you have a couple of good options where you're picking at number nine, I believe. I would stay put if you don't like the board at that time. And you can stack up some picks to fulfill a couple of needs on the roster, which is what Seattle needs to do, to be frank. Then that's a solid option, could too. Al could also be around the range where teams start thinking about trading up for a quarterback in yeah. this draft. Yeah. Usually it's top five, but this draft, nine, ten, eleven, Malik Willis still out Maybe there. Maybe they get their future ah, quarterback. Could do that, too. Yeah. Could be an option. Uh, we have some draft hats available with the draft just around the corner, and uh, you should rep your squad at chatsports.com slash NFL draft hat. Tons of different styles for all 32 NFL teams. Go check them out today and rep this thing on draft night. Link is in the comments and in the description, chatsports.com slash NFL draft hat. Uh, go pick up a, a hat for your favorite NFL team. Some hats better than others, and uh, I'll let you guys decide which ones those are. Chatsports.com slash NFL draft hat. Liam again. Now he asks a question. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the five bucks. Who is your favorite player on the Broncos besides Russ? Good question. Just a player that I like. Oh, gosh. Got to go Producer Sam, Sam is a Broncos fan, so we'll let him chime in. Uh, Justin Simmons I was gonna is my say favorite him. player besides Russ. Yeah, and since you gave us a $5 super chat, let me give you a breakout candidate. Sam, I think Albert Okoyebanam is finally breaking Albert out. Albert O. Albert oh. O is breaking out. He is a really good tight end who's fallen under the radar, tore his ACL as a rookie. Last year, didn't do much because he was behind Noah Fant. He immediately becomes tight end one. I think he has a big season. I now, love – I love uh, – Who's the running back? Javante Williams. Javante Williams. He, he is, is a stud. dog. Yeah, he's like, a stud. So many broken tackles. Now, one thing to note there with Noah Fant, after he got traded, noted that he was kind of – he said that he was used not ideally the way he wanted to. And him and Alberto are a little similar in the terms of their pass-catching yeah. style. So, hopefully in this new system with Hackett, they really lean into the receiving tight end there with Alberto. Forget the system. You got a quarterback now. Yes, exactly <laughs> right. That's you a got, good point. You got Russell Wilson. Dorian Whitfield, should the Bears trade Robert Quinn and what's his value? We've talked about this on Bears Now a little bit. If you want to go subscribe for you Bears fans, youtube.com slash Bears Now, free daily videos. Um, I think if you're Ryan Poles, Chase, and with the moves you've made, you're clearly saying, hey, it's not that we're not going to try to win this year, but we're not going to overpay to go all in on 2022. This is a long-term play here. If you can get a third for Quinn, a day two pick for an aging pass rusher who – uh, is going to be 32. Your, his value is never going to be better than coming off an 18-and-a-half sack year in his 30s. And like, I think it's impacted, though, a little bit because of the age. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying, you know, and I agree with you, like a third-round pick. I'd take a third for probably. For an aging edge rusher. Save some cap. He'd also help another team out there. I do like it. Robbie Harrison, great last name. Is Nevada's Carson Strong a better fit for Houston or New Orleans? I don't think Houston makes sense because, like, I watch Carson Strong's tape, and I'm like, this kind of just looks like Davis Mills to me. He stands in the pocket. He delivers the football pretty well when he has a clean pocket. I think that, that's actually a decent comp for him. Uh, I would say New Orleans for that reason. Yeah. Um, New Orleans, I don't think Houston's really a fit. No. If Seattle doesn't go QB in the first couple of rounds – do they maybe go strong there? He needs a good O-line because he's got knee issues. Yeah. Uh, shoot, could Miami look to get a quarterback if Tua ain't it? And the belief in that building's a little bit If sketchy? I'm Miami, I'm treating this year like Philly did last year. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm going all, all in on Tua this year, and if it doesn't work, I'm drafting a quarterback next year. Make sure you guys subscribe for more mailbags like this one, plus other NFL videos, daily news, rumors. Uh, mock drafts are going to be cranking out by Tom Downey uh, on a weekly basis from here on out. Link is down below, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. And by the way, 
It's time to start promoting the real NFL draft, the most watched draft coverage over the last three or four years. We got you covered. We'll be live for all seven rounds. YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. Melly D. Money. Can the Cowboys get Honey Badger? They can. Will they? Probably not because they don't pay big and they don't pay safeties. Yeah. That's basically <laughs> the team philosophy now. So I don't think he's going to go there. <laughs> Uh, how about the Bears? I've mentioned him as a dark horse guy, uh, A, because they have cap space still, B, uh, Ryan Poles connection, and C, Poles has mentioned he's going to attack the second and third waves of free agency. I kind of think we're like entering that third wave at this point um, where guys that thought they were going to get paid big don't. Yeah. Uh, one year, $8 million for Tyron Matthew in Chicago. Come be a vocal leader on a team that's uh, going to be pretty young next year. Rebuild your st stock. Play next to Eddie Jackson. I don't hate it. I like it. DeAndre Gowers, don't sleep on uh, Marquise Bell in the later rounds for the Bears. I need to look into him. I'll be honest. Uh, Florida A&M safety, okay. It's actually pretty good. He has good size. Uh, had a bunch of tackles the last okay. two years. Is a pretty solid player. Might go. I saw NFL.com had him slated to the Niners in the third or fourth Ooh. round in one of their more recent mocks. Okay. But has some really good size, speed, a little bit of an issue on game tape, but did run like a 4 4 4 5. So he ran a little bit faster than anticipated. He is a good player. I will say this for you, Bears fans, and I've told you guys this this new regime values players with athletic traits. Like yeah. the. Uh, Cro Dane Crookshank yesterday yeah. ran a four. His testing was off the charts. So for like role players, they're, they're going to want guys with good athletes. Liam Cool Plays, who is your favorite player? Just favorite pure NFL player. <sighs> it's so hard. I might have to go Debo Samuel right yeah. now. He's, he's a fun special watch, cat, man. man. Yeah, he's really fun. To take. Let's take quarterbacks out of it. Debo's a good one. Dude, when Tyreek Hill just catches the ball, like, on a 10-yard in route, and then he just takes it 70 yards, you're like, what the fuck just happened? How about happened? Jonathan Taylor? Yeah, he's fun. Dude, I, I, we talked about Javante Williams Javante is fun Williams to is a watch, baller. man. Like, he just w runs through guys. Yeah. Um, Derrick Henry when he's trucking dudes. Uh, yeah, offense is fun. What can I say? Who will win the NFL MVP next season? This is a good question. Do we know who the favorite is right now? Is there betting odds out there? Need to look into that. Is this going to be like a drop the mic here for Mahomes? Like y'all are y'all think I y'all think I need Tyree Kill, so I'm going to throw for 50 tutties. Yeah, I could see it. Maybe, and I I don't hate some of the acquisitions that they've made offensively. Like I think Juju Smith Schuster is going to be a good player. Yeah, you know, should be interesting. Let us know what you guys think. Couple more here, Sam Lowe. Uh, do you think Marcus Mariota can stay healthy? If so, how good can he be? If he plays all 17 games, Chase, I think his ceiling is like 20th best quarterback. Don't turn the ball over. Make good decisions. If you get that out of him, you're probably happy. Yeah. Right? Just how do you sell your fan base on Marcus Mariota? No. You know it's really unfortunate because he had ample opportunities with Tennessee. I loved him out of college, man. And had some moments, but really wasn't all that great. When you're having a head coach like Mike Malarkey, uh, <laughs> that's definitely not ideal. And then you go out to the Raiders to be Carr's backup, and anytime they use him, he got injured. So. Yeah. The problem is, is he has to use his mobility to be effective. But he gets hurt when he yeah, runs, exactly. so it's like, I just, I don't know. It's tough. The pass master, since the Vikings re-signed Patrick Peterson, do you think they still might go corner? I do, and he even said that <laughs> on the podcast. He said, I still think we're going to draft a corner. So uh, What they, better got to learn from than Patrick yeah. Peterson, who's probably going to be a Hall of Famer? They've got Cameron Dantzler, a couple other guys, but uh, they need another corner. Larry Rosen, why won't the Bears sign J.C. Treader for center, put Lucas Patrick at guard? I've mentioned this as an idea. I'd, I'm open to it. They just – they really like the idea of Patrick at center, so that's really the only answer I have, unfortunately. Evan Henders, 49ers should sign Cole Beasley and Melvin Gordon. Well, they don't have the money to do that currently. No, and you don't need to sign Melvin Gordon. Injury-prone running back who's a little bit older. You have Elijah Mitchell. You have Trey Sermon. Why pay money to Melvin Gordon? Sign Cole Beasley as a slot. Debo, he plays a lot of slot. Are we putting Liam Cool Plays into the Hall of Fame today? A lot yeah, of We might have chats. to. Bringing the heat. Who is your favorite player on the Bills now? Josh Allen. Uh, he's fun to watch. I think uh, O.J. Howard, that signing is great. Great uh, for Buffalo with the value. 
I, uh, dude, I, I'm curious to see how this ga if this Gabriel Davis cat takes off. Four touchdowns against the Chiefs in the playoffs. Yeah, he was electric. Well, he's in good that two game. years ago too in that playoff game against the Indianapolis Colts, and then man, he I'm wondering, really burst. I'm wondering if he just has a breakout year.